knew that it probably could be the last season. Everyone was, you know, crying and clapping and having all sorts of emotions and feelings and it was all very sad and happy as well, you know. The start of season four, coming out of uh, the final episode of season three, Shiv is betrayed on many fronts, once by her mother, you know, expectedly by her father, and then, you know, the big one from Tom. So I think uh, she's she's kind of going into season four, wanting to rely on herself, but needing to turn to her brothers for maybe the first time in a long time. It's a really strange thing seeing the Roys in such a sunny kind of background, and also in a very different color palette. But you see the East Coast, West Coast uh, throughout the first episode, even to the point where the sun has gone down on the East Coast and is still up on the West Coast while the negotiations are happening. And so the, the Roy kids are bathed in sunlight and all these kind of lovely warm tones. It was nice being over in, in Los Angeles and shooting there, just a different change of pace. and. And we shot out of order, so it was very disjointed, but it looks good on the camera. <laughs> looks good in the final product. We wanted to do something together. This is not about getting back at Dad. But if it hurts him, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's a tight rope walk on a straight razor. For the kids to have beat out their dad in, in his, his lifelong pursuit of buying Pierce is pretty delicious for them. And it's such a sibling kind of childish joy that we get to see them experience, which, uh, you know, there's like a real peak and a climax there. And I think Mark has done an amazing uh, job, the director, Mark Mylod, has done an amazing job to then like take it back down in terms of tone to the scene with Shiv and Tom afterwards, as well as with, with Logan at the end of the episode, just to kind of mirror and bookend that diner scene with Logan. Yeah, just to kind of remind the audience, I guess, that it can get heady and, and uh, these kids can get overexcited, but they're also, one, they're real people, but they're also playing with like <laughs> big money and big lives here. It's such a strange thing, I think, for audiences because they, uh, they in turns really don't like Tom and Shiv and really don't want them to be together because they're terrible together, but then also they're kind of the only people who would work together in a way. And, and this scene at the end of episode one, yeah, it's, it's really emotional where you want them to be together and you want them to be able to work it out and they just can't communicate properly. They can't be honest and say exactly what they need and instead say kind of what they think the other one wants to hear or challenge the other one with a statement of we should break up. And I think that, that's what I think Shiv is doing and Tom doesn't come back at her in, a, in argument and so it just dissolves a bit. Yeah, it's really sad. Here they are. The Rebel Alliance. New Gen Royce. We have a song to sing. In this season, episode three is pretty magic, I think. Um, audiences will be very impressed by it. And when we shot it, everyone was on the same page. We all had to sort of work together to get this done. There was a take, we did 30 minutes uh, straight, one take. It would have been like a 28 page scene, which is just unheard of in TV. And uh, yeah, so in terms of like an experience of, of doing an episode in TV, Episode three of this season is amazing. We knew that it probably could be the last season and flip-flopped around whether that was going to be the case or not. We found out uh, at the table read um, for episode 410, which was hard to hear. We shot a scene that was um, chronologically, it wasn't the last scene of the episode, but it was a scene that had a lot more playfulness and joy and, and uh, silliness, kind of the sibling-ish play. And that was um, really fun to do as the last last scene. It was really meaningful. And everyone was, you know, crying and clapping and having all sorts of emotions and feelings. And it was all very sad and happy as well, you know. I'm very fortunate in that like, I'm, I'm not facing the best job I've ever done and then turning around into a vacuum of no work and unemployment, I've got a baby coming. So <laughs> I'm like, one door closes, another door throws itself wide open. So <laughs> quite happily moving on to the next thing. 